How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? This is World War Prime. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is World War Prime. Man blames random, 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 okay, random black guy after he set girlfriend house on fire. Cops say. Now that's ridiculous. It, it's it's a brash of people are start starting to blame black people for every freaking thing nowadays, and we just had a black president. So you tell me how thin that the race barrier in this country is because he just been out for more no more than a year, and they start now blame us for shit. We was we had president we had a president in the United States who were black served two terms. And this shit is like we back 400 years ago on a plantation looking at a white girl, okay, or, or something like that. You know, the, 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 the shit is ridiculous, it's out of control, and I'm sorry. This is this 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 is going to be it's going to get rougher and rougher and rougher and rougher for black people because any Tom Dick and Harry is blaming black people for every freaking thing in the book, okay. Four man searches for instruction on starting a house fire before before setting his girlfriend home on a blaze. After he was caught, he tried to blame the inferno on a random black guy, police said. Jose Bernardo Rosa Madrigal, 19, of Orbindale, Orbindale was arrested Saturday after he alleged set the fire while he, his girlfriend and her family were still inside the home. Now that is a little rough. That is crazy. I mean, you set, because they're going to move. That's why he set the blaze. Okay. According to the affidavit, the girlfriend's bedroom, the front of the home, the family's vehicle, and the corner were found sprayed with flammable fluid outside the woman's bedroom. Investigators have found a heart-shaped symbol drawn with the fluid. Now this guy is a freaking idiot. Everybody knows this is this is the boyfriend of the girl. Not to mention he he threatened on shit Snapchat and the internet. This man had did no research. He got his he he uh, he set his whole f his girlfriend's house up flames. He didn't do no precautions to get um, free of any goddamn charges. But the only precaution he got was saying, hey, a black man did it. And all of a sudden, the cops should believe this man. Okay? Proof he set it on fire. Proof he put him in jail. He planned this in advance. Polk County Sheriff's Gady Judge told WFLA. He googled how to burn the house. He mixed the combination and proof. He set it on fire and proof we put him in jail. <laughs> okay. He added, it's by the grace of God that we don't have three people burnt up in a house fire. I don't know how that is because supposedly they was in the house. Okay. Majigo alleged sent his girlfriend several threatening texts via Snapchat warning he would burn down her home. He told investigators he was at his mother's home 25 minutes away when the fire was set, but surveillance cameras caught him driving past the home several times. Police said Madrigal acknowledged that he drove several times in front of the home after he and his girlfriend had a argument. He said the third time he went by, he noticed a fire burning in the front yard and saw a random black guy light, uh, light it and flee the scene. Court documents show Madrid's search. Can you start charcoal with gasoline house on fire on his cell phone before the house went up in flames? The 19-year-old faces three counts of attempted first-degree homicide one count of first degree arson and a possession of liquor by a person under 21 after the investigators found a half a bottle of vodka in his vehicle. That's crazy. 
okay? More proof that not, every, not everybody in this country is fucking sane. These people, this man just took a lighter fluid to a person's house because she was moving away from her home. And it's ridiculous. Okay, and as simple as that. These people ain't saying. Sometimes I gotta understand why police don't believe anybody or uh, police do investigations, interrogations to the point they don't believe anybody because they always blame it on somebody else. <laughs> no fronts and shit like that. But that's what happens. And make good people who tell the fucking truth look bad. And then everybody look bad. And then that's where you get innocent people in fucking jail. These people, the first thing that comes in his mind is a black person. And you look at that man, he probably never saw a black person in his goddamn life. <laughs> and that's simple as that, okay? I mean, you got it, you got that's some sadistic crap. I mean, really. You gonna put a heart shape uh, on a lot of food, then like the shit and burn a woman's house down. I mean, you're the only one, the only one. That this woman is freaking goddamn dating, and you gonna put a heart shape, and you gonna Google and Snapchat, you gonna Snapchat your girl and and threaten her, you gonna burn the house down. And this man is just plain fucking stupid. I hope he fucking goddamn um, have a good time in fucking jail, cause that's where he's going, and he gonna have a lot of love in that motherfucker. I guarantee you that shit. <laughs> Uh, this is World War Prime. I'm signing off.